My name is Johanna Oskarsson and I have been working on the, the factory rules of uh, Leipzig, I guess. <laughs> I did uh, apply with another project, but it didn't uh, turn out as I wanted to and it was a language barrier since everything is in German and I didn't know German, so I've been working with uh, another project. How, what, how did Leipzig uh, affect, your, affect your work and uh, your new project you created? It's been uh, uh, like I've been going around looking at these old uh, factory ruins because I thought that they were like interesting that they were still there since I'm from Gothenburg, it's almost like you would never <laughs> have like ruins in the middle of the city because they would, that man, that, that uh, land means money. So it's, they're gonna be something new there. So I guess it's like, it's just to be in a place where it's like still some traces of like some old history is kind of like interesting to me since I'm working like this. It's very informed by like this materialistic view of uh, history in my work. So it became like this of like visualize, <clears throat> it became like a thing of like how to visualize these ruins and like this, and how it's related to like this neoliberalistic view of the city or like a place or something like that. Okay, so, so you felt like this is like less gentrificated here? Now yeah, yeah, I guess it's like, I guess it's gonna meet the, the gentrification process <laughs> someday, but right now it felt like it was still still traces left of like the GDR, GDR times and like this old socialist uh, uh, times of uh, the East Germany. So yeah. Could you um, say something about the etching process, being with Maria uh, and the workshop, and, and yeah, about the work and the working with this medium? And... Yeah, it was. Uh, I thought it was pretty good, and, and it kind of like informed my other project in a way because I was like didn't know what to do when my first project f fell apart. So I was like, that these old uh, pictures and like so. And this old ruins, so I used like an other picture of like a church ruin from Gotland in Sweden on that one. It's like a stub of exposure. And then, so yeah, it's been, I thought it was good. And it's like, I have been doing etchings before in my art schools, but it was a long, long time ago. So it was fun to do it again, I think. And I guess this is also like a thing about this city or like the art scene that it's so much more, uh, not to say traditional, but it still works with like paintings and you can see people do etchings at art shows and that hardly ever happens in Scandinavia anymore because uh, etching as a technique is so low in hierarchy. So it's also fun to see that it's like all that the art scene is not so globalized into like this homogenic uh, mass that everyone does the same thing all over, like even all over Europe. So it's been interesting. Anything else you would like to say about this? Where you haven't been to, or anything which pops up in your mind? Well, we had, I think we had done some funny study trips to like Berlin and uh, Dresden and uh, Chemnitz to look at the Colmar set. 10 out of 10. <laughs> yeah, it was, I think it's been really fun. There's been a lot of good people here and I think that people, the ones we have like visited have been very welcome. And so I'm I don't want to go home. <laughs>